Now, from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Merry Christmas in Missouri. I'm Tom Cackley here with sports. As 2015 nears its end, we take a look back at a championship run by a Missouri baseball team that wasn't the Cardinals. The Kansas City Royals became the world champions for the second time in team history this year. It was a run few saw coming, but when the Royals faced familiar challenges and opportunities, they took advantage. But for the full story of the playoff run, you'd have to go back another year to the 2014 season. The moment Salvador Perez had been dreaming of arrived on October 30th, 2014. The Royals catcher had a chance to win the World Series with one swing. But the fairy tale ride to the World Series ended with the Giants celebrating their third World Series in five seasons and left a team that came painstakingly close to winning it all to do something no team had done in 26 years win the World Series after losing it. Baseball prospectus's computers expected the Royals to go back to their early 2000s form, projecting only 72 wins for the 2015 season. That was off by 33. The team roared through the regular season with a chip on its shoulder, winning the AL Central and clinching home field advantage in the playoffs with defense and timely hitting. No way! What? But in 2015, it was a much tougher road to the World Series. The Royals were six outs away from never making it past the division series. Houston Astros led the Royals 6-2 in the eighth inning, with Kansas City facing elimination. If it sounds familiar, it is. In the 2014 wildcard game, the Royals trailed by four runs in the eighth inning, with Kansas City facing elimination. They won that classic in dramatic fashion, and they did the same this year. Breaking ball, ground ball up the middle, Correa, he misplayed it! The Royals then put together a five-run eighth and never looked back from there. Kansas City won the fifth game at home and then beat the Blue Jays in six games in the ALCS. In the Fall Classic, Kansas City took the first two games at home and split the next two in New York to hold a 3-1 series lead going into Game 5. In that game, the Royals trailed 2-1. Salvador Perez came up to bat and the tying run stood 90 feet away in the ninth inning of a decisive game in a World Series. But this time, they tied it and then broke through to take the lead in extra innings. And then Wade Davis shut the door. The one, two, the common theme between the two teams, players learned from the same chances the year before and reaped a big reward. Salvador Perez went on to win World Series MVP. The Royals came back from New York City to a parade and rally with an estimated 800,000 fans in attendance. That's all for sports. Have a Merry Christmas. <laughs>